So just a quick one this week. Uh, it's been Easter holidays. So I haven't been doing too much work on the car. We did spend a couple of days up in the mountains. Got some okay footage. I might upload that at some point. We did do some rather impressive roads. If you're not from Wales, then you'd like them a lot. Um, but I did spend a little bit of time refurbing the new wheel. I did an, uh, a DIY, so some of you might like to see how I did that. I'm not particularly proud of the job, but it did turn out okay. And in the meantime, I've lost the locking wheel nut. Um, it's somewhere. It definitely wasn't left on the wheel nut and then I drove away, which is usually how you lose one. Um, but I have searched everywhere, I can't find it. Uh, luckily, I took a photo of it when I bought the car. And if there's a bit of advice I have for anyone out there, particularly with a Jaguar, take a photograph of your locking wheel nut. It'll have a letter on it. And if you lose it, it's fairly simple to order a used one on eBay and it saves you a lot of hassle in a long one. Uh, so let's get into it. So having gone through all the bother of getting that other wheel welded, I've decided to buy a new wheel. Well, I say we're new. It's used and I found it quite difficult to find the front wheels. It's like loads of used rear wheels. Front wheels really hard to get hold of and they're a different width. So got this one. It was the only one available. Uh, well, only one available sub 400 pounds. And unfortunately it's got a lot of rash on it, hasn't it? So I have a plan and that is to get some sanding pads and fix the wheel myself. Now, we don't know if it's had any buckles or anything. I mean, that's quite deep, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that mm, might be too much for a DIY, but we'll get it looking better because obviously the wheel on the car, is, the wheels on the car so far look a lot better condition than this. However, we needed one that didn't, <laughs> hadn't been welded. Um, and that's what we got. So, uh, we'll go down the wheel specialist, get it fitted, checked out, and then I think I'll do the refurbing another day. I'm going to attempt to recondition this wheel by myself. It won't be perfect, but I have seen two YouTube videos so far, and that kind of makes me an expert already. Um, this part here probably needs a filler and a respray. Not going to do that. Don't know about this bit here either, but the rest of it's just little scratches, so I think with this, which is my polisher, and sandpaper, which I've got on eBay, loads of different great sandpapers. I'm just going to crack it up, crack it on and have a, have a go, see, what, see how it comes out. I'll show you some progress. After sanding it with 180 grit, the uh, well, a lot of the scratches are gone now. Obviously now the problem is that it's gone, well, it's got no lacquer on it. Maybe I need a little bit more there. But yeah, all well, the scratches are gone now. So, just need to do a higher grit after higher grit and then polish it. I don't have a scotch pad. I think I can just polish it. So this was a bad idea. This has absolutely ruined it. There's no, there's no way around it. The scratches are gone, but now it looks worse. And I just realized, I mean, diamond cut means I must spin the wheel and just take a tiny, tiny bit off the surface. So that means that now we don't have those round marks. But if I polish it up and it shines, is it going to be the end of the world? We'll have to find, we'll have to keep carrying on now because otherwise we've ruined the wheel. I have to get it refurbed, which I've been quoted 165 quid for, which I'd rather not do. I've ruined it. Do not do this ever. <laughs> that was such a stupid idea. Why have I done this? It's just, uh, oh. So I tried my best. I've used sort of like a, it's like a polish with bits in it to make it a bit more aggressive and then autosol, metal polish. And even if it was perfect, it's gonna look stupid. Do not do this ever. Do not ever, because if we did it, you'd have to do every other wheel on your car just for one little bit. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do this? Right, so the wheel is completely ruined. Um, never, ever, ever trying this again. It's an absolute misery. I've masked off 
all the bits that I sanded and polished. To be, uh, to be honest, I mean, if, to be fair, I've only done this sort of rim, and I didn't go into the wheel too much. So we can pray. <laughs> we can hope a little bit of uh, lacquer is going to fix this. I've got the lacquer in a thing warming, just to uh, hopefully it'll. I don't. I don't know why would why would I try anything ever? It's always going to go wrong. That's that's the rule for this. So I'll put it next to the radiator to dry it off. Um, I'm not expecting miracles here. But it, I mean, like if you look, for example, you see this little bit there, right? That's where I didn't sand versus where I did sand. So. Maybe I could just go around and do the entire outside of the rim like this, but I don't like it. <laughs> what a waste of time as well. It takes ages. Uh, yeah, maybe I should just go around the whole entire outside of the rim with my new surface and it won't look so odd. Ah, we'll wait for it to dry and then, and then we'll make a decision. See how it looks once all the Masking tapes off, maybe it won't be that bad. I mean, end of the day, it's just a wheel. Who cares? Look worse when it was scratched, really. So maybe it's not so ruined after all. So I just ceramic coated the wheel, and I will concur, it isn't ruined. It looks a lot better, you know. Before yeah, it was covered in scratches all around these edges, and now you've got a nice smooth finish. Still got a bit of damage there. Nothing I could do about that. And then that that. Spoke there was damaged, nothing to do about that. Otherwise, though, yeah, it's perfectly acceptable, a lot better than it was. Freaked out a little bit when I saw the finish on it. Uh, however, I mean, that's probably where we look at wheel from, and it looks great. So, there we are.